latest VW Golf looks familiar, but is stuffed with new features including a digital dash, touchscreen controls and voice actuation systems. Volkswagen describes them as intuitive, but we sometimes found them awkward. The Golf we drove was a pre-production car, so perhaps some of the glitches we encountered will be absent from production versions. Otherwise, the latest Golf is attractive, capable and convenient. Even the basic version gets lane keeping and lane assist and other automatic braking and anti-collision warning systems, including pedestrian monitoring. Golfs are now better at talking to smartphones and will keep each other informed of congestion and accidents. There are LED lamps front and rear, which are excellent. Model for model, Golfs are also cleaner and more efficient than before. The latest Golf has a pleasing solidity and the interior is comfortable and civilised. Some versions have ambient lighting with about 30 permutations, which might have more to do with showroom appeal than anything else. There will be plug-in hybrids, 1 litre petrol and 2 litre diesel versions, but initially buyers can choose between a mix of petrol and diesel 1.5s with 6-speed manual and 7-speed twin clutch transmissions. These include a mild hybrid petrol 150 PS version, which we drove. It changed its own gears swiftly and smoothly, was quiet, refined and pulled well. The handling was tidy and taut and it rode with a commendable softness, not always a feature of German cars. The latest Golf is good-looking, accomplished, generally nice to use and has many clever, thoughtful features, but some of them could be simpler to access.